All right, this video is going to be for DB. I want to say that says motors. M O T E R S. Yeah, um, so anyway, they watched one of my videos. It says we are very appreciated for the video that you shared on YouTube last year regarding the RAM tow mirror indicator and puddle lamp from DB Motor. And thank you so much for supporting our products. Recently, we have invited a new, oh, invented a new design for RAM LED interior lights for front and rear. We wish to hear some feedback, what you think with this new product. Thank you. Best regards, DB Motor. And yeah, that's that's my cool, stupid name. Thanks, Mom. Anyway, yeah, so they sent these out here to me but let me show you the the lights I put on so these are the lights here so we got the tinted I think those are turn lights indicator lights and the puddle lights so puddle lights still still going strong on both sides and these are still come on with the blinker yeah so they only come on with the blinker um let me see real quick oh i guess i can throw hazards on oh man so still working strong still doing good install went really good so so these are gonna go in into there and then back there so as you see I don't have a switch so we'll have to do one of the steps and I believe these are just bulbs and they're not LEDs so anyway let's see what they what they sent instructions are super clear <clears throat> so this is for the rear it says check the lamp base with or without switch. So this one is with the switch. So we don't need that one. So this one is without switch is what we need. So this one apparently you cut these clips. If you have a switch, this one you just keep the clips on there. Pretty easy. So they send you a new, new thing. So here's a new thing, there's the clips, but we're keeping the clips because I don't have a switch. And then here are the lights. So let me set you up here real quick. So this one is for the rear, I believe. instructions <laughs> so apparently this here is where it plugs into obvious that's the old bulb but there's nothing in here and then a ton of LEDs so how many is that 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 18 bulbs 18 LEDs pretty cool and what does this say? Yep. So oh, so you tear these stickers off. So that's a double side tape. So, so you tear those off. You stick it in there so it stays in there. Obviously, I'm probably gonna clean where those, where these mount to. I'll just clean with like some alcohol so that it sticks really good. So there's that one. And then, um, let's see. and yeah, I don't care about this thing because I'll eventually do some type of wood butcher block on top of my toolbox. So now we got this instructions, which are very clear. Um, 
light bulb overhead console. Take off the lenses, start from here. So I'm assuming there's these little tabs in there that you push, you drop these out. And then there's your button that presses it, that those go on. So they don't give you new lenses for these, you retain your, oh, maybe you do. Maybe they do, I haven't opened these yet. Oh, huh, pretty cool. It's a whole, it's a whole lens. Oh wow, that's awesome. <clears throat> now I'm getting excited. So, obviously, I'm assuming you have a right and you have a left. Hmm. Well, I guess I should have opened these before I open my mouth. Anyway. Anyway, so here you go. You got a right and a left. And you just put them in, put them in. But uh, obviously, you'll take out the bulb. And you'll put these in. Wow. Well, and then this is for LED, the LED one, which I'm sure I don't have. <clears throat> um, take off OEM lens from the switch panel, install it. So they're still the same thing. Install here, start, install here. <clears throat> Cut the clip from the overhead console. Take off OEM. Oh, okay. So these are the built-in LED, which I don't think I have. So I'm not going to worry about this one. <clears throat> anyway, let me uh, go try to get set up in here and uh, go get started on this. Be right back. All right, let's try this out. So you have this little thing right here. Okay. Okay, that worked. Bada bing. <clears throat> Take a little bulb out. It's hot. So, yeah, it's hard to get that little bulb out. Man, that bulb's hot. Um, hold on, I'll be back. I'm gonna go grab something. All right, I'm gonna try to do some gloves. Just can't even get in here. Hmm. Oh, man. Oh, that's not gonna work. I made it slippery. Alright, well, I tried a bunch of things <laughs> off camera to try to get these things out. Um, I tried uh, some needle nose pliers, um, a pick, I tried some rubber gloves. Rubber gloves, as you see, didn't work or whatever. Neoprene gloves. So, I don't know if this is going to work. <clears throat> But I got a little piece of fine grit sandpaper. I tried it on a bulb to see if it'll even just grab the bulb. Man, what a pain. Oh, there you go. There you go, <clears throat> company. Include a little piece of sandpaper. A little piece of sand, sandpaper so you can grip the bulb Oops. with the kit. I think that'd be pretty cool. And uh, just let it cool, let the bulb cool down. So, anyway, let me go. Let me zoom out a little bit. So, here's what I'm gonna put in. So Plug this chingy in. Okay. Right. That was the right one, right? Oh, I'm backwards. Oh, I'm backwards. Let's slide it in. Push it. Push it. Oh, wow. 
Oh wow. That's nice. That's kind of cool. Huh. So, that one's done. Onto this one. Stick a little pick in there. You could use probably like a little screwdriver or something. Doesn't take much force to do it. So anyway, take that out, take that out. Grab your $100 tool. That should be included, I think, to grip the bulb. And then just wiggle it out if you can. I can't really do it on this side. I might have to go to the passenger side. Um, because I can't really see it. Sorry, you guys can't really see much. Man, those bulbs are pain in the butt. Let me get on the other side. million degrees so unless somebody has a better tool or unless there's actually a tool for light bulbs but I don't have one I tried a, a thing for a fuse and that didn't work so anyway, as you can see it's, it's a lot brighter kind of cool actually I actually like it Hmm, it's cool how it goes dim. <sighs> cool it off a little bit. Get in here. And just like that, it's out. So yes, definitely include a little piece of fine grit. I think this is like 1000 grit or 1500 grit sandpaper. Makes life a little easier. So, put this thing in there. Put this thing in there. Slap it in. On, off. Nice. That's, that's really easy. The hardest part is the light bulbs. So, let me uh, get to the back. This is going to be a longer video than I want, but whatever. What can you do about it, huh? focus so let me go get the stuff and uh, I'll be back for this one all right let's do this again not really again but let's just do it so I'm gonna shut the door so the lights are off but I think you pick right here pull that off So you could go from behind and push these little tabs, these little tabs in there. Take your little sandpaper that they should give you. Oh, that's, that bulb's hot. Wow. <sighs> Definitely let them cool down. It's hot. <laughs> Definitely let it cool down. I could probably just unplug it and then take it into the garage, but oops. So yeah, if you can include a little piece of sandpaper, 
just a fine grit sandpaper that works out awesome. It's the only thing I'd recommend. So let's see, where do these go? Okay, so those are gonna basically there and there. I'm just cleaning it with some isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol. And uh, yeah, it says to peel these, peel these back pieces here. This one here. Sorry, you guys, you guys probably can't see, but I'm just peeling these off. And shove it in there. Just push, push right in here, right there and right there. This way, you're not flexing the board. So, and then you just reverse the process. I think, maybe not. Kind of need a being right in there. This isn't, this isn't their problem. Okay, slide it in there. And, I'm just gonna push up that. Pop it in there. Clean this up a little bit. Now let's see, let's see if it works. Oh, jeez, it's bright. I want to see if this will work and see how much brighter it is. It's probably like super bright. I don't know if it'll work or not, but we'll find out here. You'll find out on my channel. It's pretty bright right there, huh? Just clean it out a little bit, clean this out. Light bulb went out. All right, let's see. Uh, might be too bright. That might be white. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm gonna leave it like this. It comes with this. The kit comes with this. But I kinda, I kinda like it like that. And that's how I'm gonna roll. So, anyway, um, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it with that on there. Those up there, pretty cool. I'm digging it. Mia, climb in and out of the vehicles. Anyway, so that's uh, that's the install video and review, I guess, of uh, the light bulbs, LED interior light bulbs for my truck, which is a 2012 Ram 2500. But I guess it goes from 2010 to 2018 overhead lamp. And then these are just 20 or 2006 to 2018 Jeep Dodge Chrysler rear dome lamp. So anyway, so I'll keep this. I'll keep these. Um, obviously, I'll keep the bulbs. Do that. But um, anyway pretty easy nice little easy install pretty cool the only thing like I've been saying is just to add a little strip of grip tape or grip tape I guess you can call it but uh um, some sandpaper and that was just off of this so oh it's 2,000 grit sandpaper 
<clears throat> so this way you can grip those bulbs. Those bulbs are kind of a pain in the butt, but anyway, um, yeah, definitely go check them out. Uh, yeah, I would say go check them out. DB Motor Company. Um, I'll leave a link for these in the description. And uh, I believe you can get them on eBay because that's where I got my mirrors and everything on eBay, the mirror lights. So anyway, that's the install. That's everything for that. Um, and I guess if there's other companies out there that are doing the same thing, just try to include a, a little grip tape, a little sandpaper, and uh, make everybody's lives easier. So anyways, guys, that's going to be it. Links below for them. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe up here. Check out my boy, one in Glenn over here. Watch my previous video. Later, guys.